Craig Shoemaker, TriStateFootball.com, here at Norwood High School with Jared Peters. And Jared last year was quite the player. He set the school record with 993 yards receiving, had 12 receiving touchdowns, now owns the school record for receiving yards with 1,665, and he has 18 receiving touchdowns for his career, 93 career touchdown catches. The list goes on and on for Mr. Peters. Uh, Jared, one of the main cogs last year in this offense, uh, it was pretty fun to be a, an Indian last year on offense, wasn't it? Yep, we got the offense spread out, and we got everyone working together and everything, and we really connected last year. You know, when you talk about spreading out the offense, but how important is it to share the ball and share the wealth with so many different guys? I mean, the next day on Saturday, does it make for everybody to have in a better mood? It makes everybody in a better mood. It knows that everyone got involved in everything. You just don't get the ball to one person and everyone gets involved. This off season, I mean, you had such a great year last year. Do you look at tapes? Do you look at film? And is it something you concentrate on making yourself better? Yeah, you got. You just got to keep going over film, knowing what you did wrong and what you did good. And you just got to keep building off of what you did last year. Your quarterback, Andrew Conover, he lives with you. He wanted to stay here. Talk about your relationship, how it all came to be that you guys are in the same house and uh, you're pitching catch buddies now. I mean, it seems like everything works well for you. Andrew's mom moved to Philadelphia, and Andrew wanted to stay here, and so we thought the best idea would be to move in, and now that he moved in, we just learn from each other. We know each other so good and constantly talk about football and everything. When you look at uh, the team and, and the senior class, you know, it's, it's a great great establishment. You've already started some good things, but talk about your relationship with those guys, and, you know, A, you're already in the house with Andrew, but... It seems like there's a pretty good group here. Yeah. Uh, freshman year, we went 0-10, and, and then we all kind of like, we were like, I don't know about this football thing. And then we got new coaches, Coach Majors, and our new coaching staff came in sophomore year, and we went 2-8, and eight, and we were like, all right, we're going to turn this thing around. And then last year, we went 10-2, and two, and then we just built together, and now we're a family, and we just got to keep this thing going. When you look at the, the off season. Where are you going to do for uh, to make yourself a better football player? And are you going to any camps? And are college coaches telling you what you need to do to play at the next level? Coach Majors is having a lot of college coaches come in, and he's talking to me about what I need to do and everything. And just in the off season, you just got to get stronger and faster and everything. You just got to build from what you had last year. And for camps. I think I'm going to go to the one at UC and maybe up to Ohio State. There you go. Jared Peters, the fine, outstanding wide receiver, and he's also a pretty good defensive back for the Norwood Indians.